there is tons of uh, articles written by Muslims and uh, millions of a graphic uh, design uh, to give us a special design about who the Muslims believe he is the prophet of Allah and all those designs they try to give us an image that Muhammad was a romantic person merciful nice loving giving he is the most wonderful man ever he is the dream of every woman he is a person who God did not make anyone like him this guy is the Superman in reality but how truthful what Muslims they try to present to us is it really true or all of it is nothing but a lies and fabrication to fool you let us start with the biggest one don't kill women is that a true is that a true let us see it's reported in the authority of etc 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 the prophet when he was asked about women and children of the supposedly the pagan being killed during the night right he said they are from them which means it's okay they are from them sahih muslim hadith number 1745a so they are from them they are asking him is it okay to kill women and children when we are attacking our enemies he said they are from them he did not say no don't kill them now this this hadith here proved killing any uh, can even uh, kid children and women what about this one no woman of Bani Quraiza was killed except by the way do you know what he did with those women he raped them all he took them as sex slaves no women were killed so they were not killing women because they are nice they were not killing them to take them as a slaves the old ones for the kitchen and the young one is for sex no woman of Bani Quraiza was killed except one she was what what she was doing what her guilt what she what, what, what the crime she commit she was with me who's talking Aisha the wife of Muhammad this is a read witness was with me talking and laughing on her back why she is talking and laughing her back and Billy when you laugh so much let me tell you what happened because she is she went mad the filthy prophet he killed all her tribe he cut you see he's killing them one by one the women she is going crazy she is laughing not because she is happy she is going mad seeing her family being slaughtered one by one read with me carefully uh, talking and laughing on her back Billy extremely while the messenger of Allah was killing her people with the swords suddenly a man called her called her name he said where where is this where is this woman where is this one huh she said then the man took her one of the Muslims took her and he beheaded her they say the Prophet وسلم, laughed, laughed and laughed and until his Back teeth, the molars were showing. I said, I will not forget that she was laughing extremely, although she knew that she would be killed. The women she wanted to die, she didn't want to live no more. Do you see the mercy of Muhammad and his followers? And the graphic they tried to present to us is nothing but a joke. Don't kill, don't kill animals. Hmm. Let us see. Not just Muslims, non-Muslims, animals, plants. He is a mercy to all of creation. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's hard to believe how how big the lies of the Abdul. Don't kill animals unless you want to eat. Okay, do you eat dogs? Do you eat dogs? You're a prophet. Even a poor dog, he ordered him to be killed. All dogs need to be killed. What a bunch of liars. Do you Muslims have a shame? Huh? Malik created to me from Naif ibn Abdullah ibn Umar that the Messenger of Allah may Allah beep and grant him beep. You're right. Order dogs to be killed. Why? You just say to us in the graphic here, you liar. The Prophet says, don't kill animals unless you accept to eat. You see how they lie. This is why I say to you, don't ever. You cannot. You cannot learn about Islam from Muslims. Muslims are, you know, they are a, 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 a media center of lying. How we can trust a Muslim making a graphic about like this? Can you? 
even the poor lizard is an enemy for Muhammad Muhammad he ordered his followers that the one who kill a lizard Allah will give him an extra 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 reward why why and Muslims look at the description of your Rasul it was narrated from Ummu Shar Sharik that the Prophet S.A.W. told her to kill the house lizard okay and what he did he actually he said that if you kill a lizard from etc etc head Allah will give you etc etc reward the Prophet said the messenger of Allah said this is not me whoever kill a house lizard which one with one blow will have such and such reward which means Allah will reward him can you tell me for for the sake of your your pagan God for your black stone why if you kill a lizard from the first blow Allah will give you a reward I mean what you accomplish to mankind it's a poor tiny animal what exactly your prophet and Islam and Allah will accomplish from killing such a tiny you know a creature what exactly the point of killing this lizard Allah when I kill this poor little tiny animal and he promising you an extra reward if you kill him from the first blow why what what make it more funny they make a graphic of it the prophet says don't kill animals unless you when I eat your prophet he kill people what about animals so you are telling me he like to kill people but he don't like to kill animals <laughs> I mean, it's amazing how they fabricate and how they try to fool people. Don't cut the trees. Is that a true? Let us see. Let us see if this is a true or not. Don't cut the trees, right? Okay, let us see. Hmm. The Prophet said, the mosque was built and etc. And, and in the land of Bani al Najjar, which contained the crops, palm trees, and graves, and etc. etc. The messenger say, is AW said, sell it to me for some price. To the people of Ali Najjar, Ali Najjar, they said to him, "We do not want any price. The palm trees cut off, and the crops removed, and the grave of the disbelievers dug and open." Uh, what else? Uh, don't ma uh, m uh, mutilate a body. Uh, what, what, what is the? What are you talking about? The, the prophet did, did that. Are you sure? Let us see. Let us see, my friend. You must love your enemy according to Islam. No. No, you don't have to love your enemies. Chapter 5, verse number 3. It's an order in the Quran to torture and to kill people before they die and after you torture them. This is a story supposedly about a bunch of guys. They stole some animals according to the Muslims. Remember, this is the, the Muslim story. And they killed the shepherd and run away. Muhammad, he got them back. What he did. Remember in the graphic, it says here, hmm? be good to prisoners. So let us say Muhammad, he went and he got them as a prisoners. And those are criminals. Those are not like the, the Jews who he killed them for no reason. It's not the same as the Jews who, who, who chopped their head after they became prisoners. Those are criminals. So let's see what he would do with the criminals. What he will do, he will be good to the criminals. I mean, okay, he will punish them. But are you going to be good to the prisoners? Let us see. Muhammad, he captured them. They are they are arrested. The police of Allah get them. So what he did to them? Muhammad now is having fun. He have an order from his God to do the following. They shall be slaughtered or crucified for or have their hands and feet cut off on opposite side that their right hands and left feet are be banished so what what he did look what he did muhammad he crucified him what muhammad he did the messenger of allah allah bless him and give him peace sent after them and when they were captured and he brought them he cut off their hands and feet and gogged their eyes and he left them die slowly watching them ask them what is islam islam is peace brother we love everybody we're tolerant 
No problem. <laughs> I mean, do you see how the Prophet of Allah he treat his prisoners nicely? If there is a person who killed a person, kill him. If the punishment is death, what is that? This is not killing. This is torture. Crucifixion is torture. Putting nails in the eyes is torture. Cutting hands and feet and people die slowly is torture. This is not the punishment of death. This is a guy who watched a lot of horror disgusting movies and he is the founder of them. Watching Harry Potter. Yet they make a graphic for us lying about everything in it. Forgive and release captive. The prophet he took captive and you rape them. Why you take them captive and then you want to release them? Actually, the prophet he did the opposite. If we go and check the story of Bani al Mustaliq, huh? read with me carefully. The message of Allah BPUH made an attack of Bani al Mustaliq. When they were unaware, the poor people, they are not attacking anyone. They are living by themselves. They were busy with their animals. Poor people. He attacked them when they are unaware. He killed all the men. You know what he did? He killed the men. And took the women and the children as captives. But they said to us in the graphic, you know, the prophet said, release the slaves. You are making slaves. Those people are free people. Why you take the women and the with the children? What, what do you want? What do you want from the women and the children? He take them as a property. But in the graphic, they say to us the opposite. Can you find one thing in the graphic of the Muslims? Is it truthful? Not a single thing. Not a single thing. Uh, don't kill a priest. Not fighting you. I mean, a priest is fighting. So, you, 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 what about killing the one who is not a priest? And you know, wh where you get this uh, not to kill for a priest? I mean, can you show me in the Quran? It says, kill the Christians, and the Christians is including the priest. When the Quran in chapter 5, verse number 51, says that you go and you kill the Christians, huh? Is the priests are of the Christians or they are not considered? I mean, it is amazing how much they lie. I want to show you what Muhammad he said about the Christians, specifically the Christians and the Jews. Chapter 9, verse 29. All right. What Muhammad he said, kill anyone who don't believe in Allah and the last day and his prophet. Who are they, those people? It's us. So what is the war of Islam all about? Isn't it about killing those who don't believe in Muhammad? You see here the translations fight in Arabic it says the word qatil which means fight and kill which means this is a fight to kill not fight by shoes kill those who believe not in Allah nor the last day nor that hold forbidden so if you don't forbid pork we kill you if you don't forbid uh, anything Muhammad he forbid we kill you but as you see he is fighting you until he kill you or either you convert or you or you die until you fight them until what from who? You kill who? The people of the book. For those who do not know who is the people of the book, it's us, the Christians and the Jews. Until, until what? Until they pay jizya with willing and submission and feel themselves subdued, which means humiliated. Why we have to do that? Because we refuse to accept Islam. So either we die or we pay. He's a gang. It's a mafia. We will let you live. And the Muslim, the funny, the Muslim, they will say to you, oh, you pay jizya because we protect you. Protect you from who? From us. <laughs> you know? We protect you, my friend. I mean, come on. We protect you from us. The Quran says it clearly in many places that anyone is not a believer. He is the enemy of Allah. Muhammad, he said it clearly that I am going to expel all the Christians, all the Jews, from the Arabian Peninsula, where is the one who speak about peace? Why you want to expel people from their land? Why? Imagine we I make a statement right now says we have to expel all the Muslims from New York. The Muslim they will say, oh how racist, how disgusting! We will take him to court. This is your religion. As we speak today, 
not a single person in Saudi Arabia is allowed to be Christian even if you convert to Christianity you are not allowed to say you are a Christian why because they are keeping the promise of the filthy Muhammad the Muslim have a duty and the duty is to kill anyone is not accepting Allah and if he is a Christian or a Jew only he have an option to live if he pay money in order to survive look what Muhammad and look what the Muslims believe and this is what they teach in every school Islamic school the order to fight the people of the scriptures until they give the jizya all right and here he explained to us why we have to pay jizya is to force us to convert to Islam pay the jizya Allah said until they pay the jizya if they don't choose to embrace Islam with willing and submission in defeat this is not a tax as the Muslim tried to fool you and feel themselves subdued do you need to feel subdued when you pay tax disgraced humiliated do you see it this is not tax this is a lie and look and the Muslims are not allowed to honor the Christians and the Jews the people of the Dimma which mean the Christian and the Jews or elevate them above the Muslims which Muslim would mean Muslim are not allowed to respect us for they are miserable disgraced humiliated and the Prophet said if you meet any Christian or a Jew in the street the Prophet said don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians and if you meet any of them in the road force them to the most narrow alley what does that mean in the old days used to have an, a, a narrow sewage in the side of the road so when a Muslim you see how nice Islam is when a Muslim walk in the street he forces you to walk in the sewage this is the teaching of the peaceful Prophet peace upon him the Muslims make tons of a graphic about a bunch of lies not even one of it is true Muhammad is a rapist, criminal, killer, thief, liar, cheater. He cheated on his wife. He cheated on everybody. He is a, the most disgusting creature ever. Yet the liars, they try to present him to us as a good person. This cult is having an impact in every country in the world. You cannot ignore how filthy and dangerous this religion is yet they make a graphic for you hoping that you are a donkey stupid who will believe their graphic and trust them and think this is true when everything in this graphic is absolutely false always keep your promise is that a true is that a true are you sure <laughs> are you sure read with me carefully chapter 2 verse number 225 Allah will not call you account of, uh, in a, to account of your tr a, a truthless oath. Do you see it? Have you ever heard of any prophet? He said to his followers, you can use the name of God in vain. Have you ever heard of anyone? He says he claimed that he respect his God. The God himself, he says, that if you use my name, take an oath, and this oath is false. You don't mean it. What is false oath? False oath is something you don't mean. That is what false oath is. I swear by God, but I don't mean it. That is a false oath. So Allah is saying to them, you can take false oath. And there's no problem with it. So we find that everything they have in their graphic is garbage. It is a lie. Not a single thing in their video is true. We will never make cartoons. Never. We will never make cartoons. Never. Never. If you like to learn about the cult of Islam, you can search my books in Amazon.com. Just go to Amazon.com and you know you will find tons of videos about this cult. Nothing in this cult is it true. Not a single thing. Islam, what does Islam mean? It doesn't mean peace. Does not mean peace. This cult is a threat for all mankind. Name for me one country around the world is not suffering about security, especially about security because of this filthy cult that's called Islam. From Europe to America to Australia to Canada to anywhere. The greatest man who walked upon this earth. The man that you and I need to take as an example. 
We need to know about him and we need to follow in his footsteps. Every Muslim should be a terrorist. Every Muslim should be a terrorist. Every Muslim should be a terrorist. How many suicide bombing happen today? And how many of them is done by the Jews? How many of them is done by the Christian? How many done by, by the Hindus? How many of them done by the by the by, by the atheists or the Buddhas? Only by Muslims. And yet there is some stupid people trying to lie to you and says to you, those people have nothing to do with Islam. Don't take what Muslims they say to you for granted. Be smarter, search by your own, and you will find that every single thing they said is absolutely false. Read my books and laugh. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you and keep you safe in good wealth and good health. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. All the glory to you.